We're good? Mm -hmm. You want me to exactly saying. reply to what I'm going to say? No, you're just going to say, like, no, that's a new one told story. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Hey, is that story over told? <laughs> A new untold story episode 388. 388 bit's dead. I'm gonna start getting the episode yeah, correct. My new that? bit is getting the episode number correct. All right, well, I'm still gonna flash it back to 388, year 388, when of course Year 388. Yeah. Theodosius the first. Oh, I know where this is going. Defeated Magnus Maximus. <laughs> What's funny about that? I mean Was it an upset? The Theo defeated the Magnus Maximus translates to the greatest greatest. Defeat it at the Battle of Potovio, commonly referred to as the Battle of the Save. After that, Theodosius I is now in control of an army of Gauls. Goths. Ah. Goths, Huns, and Allens. The three clicks. <laughs> um, wait, wait, wait. <laughs> you can't just laugh. Weird laugh. Yeah. <laughs> Um, the th like that a was like a studio audience cue. No, that, was. that was funny. Yeah, but the, it's true. The three clicks. So, Theo the first, also known as Theo the Great, defeated Magnus Maximus. You, I, now he is in control of an army of Goths, Huns, and Allens. <laughs> Allen is a click. Like a like a it like a high school lunch room. But yeah, that was like the three clicks in high school. It's where the Goths sit. The this Allens the, and the, the Huns. The Huns are like the cuties. Right. What are the Allens? I don't know what the Allens are. No, in like the, oh, in the high oh, school lunch. Dude's room. named Allen. There was a lot of them back in <laughs> eleven and ten. Uh, <laughs> and then Theodosius the Great. After that shit, he devoted his life to gluttony and voluptuous living. Devoting your life to that is. I know. What a way to go out. God damn. Probably ate a lot of, what was it, back then? Jello molds back then? <laughs> <laughs> you, you are like, you're the smartest guy I know, and your favorite bit to do is that you didn't know when Jello molds were a thing. Yeah. I still don't. 50s? Right, but like, I don't think it was thir the year 388. No, they had blood pudding, mutton, <laughs> a variety of oils and fats, breads, so uh, plenty of ways What's to blood get pudding? fat in a fun way. That's some British shit. You know who made a good Jello mold? Uh, Susie Carmichael's mom. She went to Le Cordon Bleu. Susie Carmichael's mm -hmm. Rugrats. Yeah, I, I distinctly remember Susie Carmichael's mom bringing a Jello mold over, and it looked amazing. Yes, she did. Can you look up Susie Carmichael? Susie the Carmichael's Carmichael. Jello mold. And then I remember Angelica ate dessert at an inopportune time, and she was force fed like a zillion like cakes. She, did she vomit? Till she vomited. Susie Carmichael's mom dropped off a Jello mold. I don't know why I remember. I, I don't remember Susie Carmichael's. I know the name now. I remember her. she was the Black Rugrat. Oh, is this a Mandela effect? What do you mean? <laughs> are you make? Uh, <laughs> what do you first of all define what Mandela? Effect what is? what Mandela are you talking? Wait, let's see. Everybody's bringing Jello uh, molds. I actually over. don't know what that means. <laughs> Oh, well, there she is. You made that lamp? I forgot about her. Years ago, I got into recreating Tiffany lamps from original designs, you know, just for a hobby. It's so perfect. Or at least it was. Thanks. That's what the Tiffany company said, too. I'm Lucy Carmichael. Lucy oh, Carmichael. Oh, the quintessential one black woman in a sitcom who only hangs out with white people and is culturally very white. Yeah. <laughs> uh, let me see your jello mode, because I remember wanting to eat it real bad. The, oh, oh, whose is that? I remember this oh. now. The hair sticking out. Hey. That's hers. Oh, All right, so you look how good that looks. This is where I get confused because this is, I guess, the '90s. <laughs> was there Jello molds in the '90s? Yes. Or was it the '20s? I mean, Jello. 
I don't know when Jello was it became a thing. <laughs> no one knows. That's why I, you I know, we that's could why Google I, it. I routinely fuck it up. We could Google it. But I don't think I think it's uh, We went to the Jello Museum. Whoa. Yeah, but 1897. See no, no one knew that. <laughs> All right. Made by Pearl Bixby Wait. <laughs> <laughs> What are these names we're getting lately? Uh, I, oh, and I have this. some good names coming up. Yeah, that's right. Today's a special occasion. Right. Um, um it's the second. It's not annual. It's the second PG 13s. Uh, the first one we di- weren't even recording the podcast as video. That's right. It's only available on podcast audio form. Yeah. Um. So you get some video this time. Yeah. Our so facial reactions. Um. There's no winner or loser to the PG 13s with us, but. I have this bracket here. It is March. And I think whoever has the worst suggestions for pussy getters has to tweet this bracket of Howard winning <laughs> to Dr. Umar and say, follow back. Cuh. <laughs> <laughs> Let me see. I'm just going to get the tweet right. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's completely filled out. Completely filled out. Howard, Howard. Uh, who was already lost. They already, the yeah. HBCU. Uh, they beat Drake in the final. Yeah, four. Drake went really far as well. I f- I just assumed that was a black school. Oh, my, and they be- Howard beat Unk in the first round. <laughs> uh, yeah, UNC. Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> Howard beating yeah. Unk in backyard cornhole. Or what? <laughs> What's a game? They don't what's play what, they don't a like, game. What's a barbecue dice. game? Oh, dice. <laughs> backyard dice. <laughs> Howard beat Unk. <laughs> Damn, did you see Howard beat Unk? <laughs> um, holy shit! Yeah, tweet it to Doctor Umar. Yeah, anyone else? And just be like, my bracket got busted. Can you follow back? Uh, <laughs> That is All some right. shit. I would actually say. Yeah, I think, I think it really would be ironic. Would. I think it really would be. Um. Da-dum. I bet you, you the podcast listeners uh, thought we were tuning into Netflix there, mm. but oh, alas, yeah, it's, that was just my mouth. Oh, was that the I, Netflix intro? Yes, it, with the, Wikipedia intro. Yeah, the Wikipedia intro. Wikipedia. Um, I wish I was watching Netflix instead Me of being too. with you hooligans because yeah. I have new friends. These dirt, and that's on the show. On I wouldn't want any of these dirt bags yeah. dating my dog. No, no, no. I want my daughter to date a gentleman, mm-hmm. like Guy like Ritchie's someone, gentleman. Yeah, someone who's. Uh, thrusted himself into the criminal underworld of London. Mm, London. A lot on his plate. Can you do an ac- a London accent? No. Oh, you yeah. know I can't. I know you can. You know I put I can't, you on the spot. I can't do any accent. Um, but it's based on the award-winning film, which won the awards appropriately and deservingly. It's a new Netflix series, you know, that follows Theo James from White Lotus in a cast of criminal... Lords and ladies, don't forget the ladies. So watch yeah. what happens when you try to play gangsters at their own game. Don't miss the gentleman now playing only on Netflix. And I, I, BRGs have been hitting me up. It's a great show. They've been fucking with it. I've never heard a bad word. Yeah, they all keep love it. messaging me. Let, let's talk about it. It's a great show. So the PG 13s are an award show. The 13 greatest pussy getters um, mm. of different categories. Yeah, some are like uh, of the year, and some that I've picked are from history yeah that's right that, same that kind of got neglected didn't get their accolades but for everybody to get really really into this the listeners the viewers pretend like this is like the oscars and there's a big crowd of hunks in front of us mm-hmm. okay so uh Mook, can you let's, play uh, before we get into it let's just get the birthdays out of the way i only have sure, three, yeah. only have three. Um, birthdays of the week all right this is a someone turning 77 a woman Okay. Famous woman. Almost there. I swear I'm about to finish. Just a, just a couple more strokes, Quagmire. <laughs> it's Glenn Close. Yeah. <laughs> Glenn Close, happy 77th. All right. This is... <laughs> This is an entertainer <laughs> oh, no. turning 38. <laughs> oh, no. I'm Detective Anthony Pizzuto, and I can't stop thinking about this case. This case is going to be the death of me. I'm completely consumed by this fucking case. This case is becoming my entire identity, and my name is Anthony Pizzuto. <laughs> Detective Anthony Pizzuto. So it's a it's an Italian detective obsessed with I mean, a case. I'm engrossed by this case. <laughs> <laughs> this case is a, a 
becoming a major trait of mine. <laughs> All right. What's a detective Anthony Pizzuto? So it's an Italian detective. Can't stress more that I am Detective Anthony <laughs> Pizzuto. <laughs> and I... Yeah, and I'm enraptured by this case. <laughs> I feel like we should get it, but I, I don't know. What's this entertainer been doing? Um, laying low. <laughs> laying low. Because I go into Disney World in a disguise, maybe with some sunglasses on. Because of their fame or because of shame? Do you know with this person, I don't know if they experience shame or if they get off from fame. Detective Anthony Pizzuto obsessed with a case. Yeah, it's one of my main qualities. Um, a lot of people <laughs> describe me as the guy who is obsessed by this don't case. Don't say it again. God damn it. <laughs> You're pissing me off. Yeah, because I'm not. It's not. I mean, it's not clicking. Um what is it? Uh, it's Casey Anthony. <laughs> He's fit. Entertainer? I don't know. Entertainer? What else would yeah, you wait. Say? Entertainer. Fine, all right, fuck. I'm losing steam with these. All right, one more. Entertainer, Entertainer? is crazy. I don't know what you want me to Casey say. Anthony. If I said criminal, you'd get it immediately. Uh, no. No. I mean, has she brought anyone entertainment? Why detective? We were we were all watching Why detective? the court. Because it's a case. He's very Casey. He's a... <laughs> He's a <laughs> all right, all right. We're almost done. This is the easiest one. Entertainer turning 65. Okay, murderer. Got it. Yeah. Psst. What? Psst. Psst. <laughs> one more. Psst. All right, fuck it. It's Sting. Let's get on with the PG-13. <laughs> Sting the wrestler. Why would that why would that be the sound for Sting? Well, what else would it be? It's H S S S S T. That's hiss. Sst. That's like snake. But no, Sst. that's like a bite. A what, sting? That's not a sting. That's not the sound of a sting. So, all right, you got stung by a jellyfish. What's your verbal vocal reaction? Ow, fuck. Sst. No, dude. No sting doesn't make a sound. I think. Yeah, Kyle's Sst. coming back from the beach. What happened? He's like, uh, yeah, you no, say you that. that if, you make that noise. Sting, you make that. Sst. Yeah, but that wasn't. I thought you were hissing. Sst. Maybe there's a T before the H. Do it. Sst. No, dude, Sss. you've never been stung. Sss. Maybe that, the inhale, your uh, exit. Well, all right, okay, yeah. Oh, mm. glad we got mm. that out of the way. <laughs> oh, let's get into the PG-13s. PG -13s. Mm -hmm. So the gentleman has lords. Uh, rent app caters to landlords, uh, but more importantly to renters, which is most of you guys. Um, You're absolutely crushing this. <laughs> mm -hmm. Introducing Rent App. It's mm -hmm. the ultimate tool for renters everywhere. It takes the hassle out of paying rent. No and more trips to the ATM. No more managing different apps. I get so nervous to mail a check. Because if it doesn't oh get there, God. guess whose yeah. butt is on the streets? And where do you even... You got to find one of those mailboxes. One of those blue boxes. And you're blue afraid box. there's going to be a bomb in there. Mm -hmm. Always. Anthrax, maybe. Mm -hmm. there, yeah. In Monk, mm -hmm. they he would tape mail bombs, one of the bad guys, and it would drop down over uh -huh. time. So like, yeah, he wouldn't be caught. And the butterfly effect. Uh, it's also helping you build a brighter financial future uh, by optionally reporting your on-time rent payments to the three major credit bureaus. Rent App brings you one step closer to home ownership and helps boost your credit score. So why wait? Head to the Rent App. <laughs> Sorry, I see the word app, and I assume rent now. Uh, why wait? Head to the App Store and download Rent App today and follow Rent App at Rent App on Instagram and Twitter. Yeah, for follow them. Follow them. They got a lot of ups, um, a lot of promise. Those guys running the accounts. Yeah, they're good. And uh, for our listeners, we've got an exclusive deal. Go to rent.app/barstool and get fifty dollars cash back on your first rent payment. What president's on the fifty? Is it a president? Ulysses. Ooh. Uh, if you're a landlord, go to rent.app slash landlord and get paid on time without the hassle. Nothing better. Okay. Do you mind if I host the PG-13s? I figured you would, yeah. <laughs> Do you have a monologue? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> of course. Yeah. Yeah, I do. And it sucks dick. It's really bad, okay. but let's do it. Mook, can you... Thank you, guys. Thank wow. you. Mook, can you play me uh, some, like, 
like I'm walking out and there's an orchestra. Welcome back, everybody. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Look at everybody here. This is a great day. Hello again and welcome to the first ever second PG-13 Awards. Guys, and I've got to say you all look amazing out there. There's more suave in here than a middle class shower. More striking men here than the PBA. <laughs> Looks like a motherfucking picket line with all these striking men here. Don't worry, Sean Penn, I won't make a joke about any of your striking. <laughs> you hit Madonna. You're a bad, bad guy. Look at all these blonde dudes. Gosling, Owen Wilson, Hemsworth. Are we sure that's your natural color, boys? There's more highlights in here than a pediatrician's waiting room. <laughs> <laughs> Jeremy Renner, you fucker, you're here. You guys might know him from the Hurt Locker. The man who removed IEDs. But now he's removing IUDs with his long penis. <laughs> Mario Lopez is here. What's up, Mar? Oh, shit. There he is. <laughs> Mario cheated on his fiance at his bachelor party. Oh. Shit. Cheating? At a Mario party? Oh, my God. Sounds like your boo is going to take all your coins <laughs> when she divorces you. <laughs> oh. <laughs> all right, all right. I've blabbed enough. Let's get into the awards. Thank you, thank you. Kyle, do you want to send out the first awards? All right. We can stop this. Thank you. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you. Wow. What wow. a crowd. I'm kind of nervous. Yeah. Yeah. It's a crazy crowd of pussy fuckers. <laughs> <laughs> wow. <laughs> ouch. Oh, yeah. Just testing out the soundboard. Yeah. Just in case we need that ouch. <laughs> Kyle, do you have any, uh, Awards, or do you want to start? All right, yeah. With the first award, um, this is the How the Fuck Did This Guy Get Laid Award. Okay. Um, found the nominees by Twitter searching How the Fuck Did This Guy Get Laid. Okay. And seeing what that was in reply to or quoting or um, talking about. A lot, of, a lot of good candidates, a lot of ugly, hideous men. Um, but one stuck out to me the most, and that is a politician. Oh. From Naboo, <laughs> Sheev Palpatine. <laughs> Sheev Palpatine uh, appears to have a decaying face. He that's, looks, that's the emperor. Who is that? That's the emperor Palpatine. Oh, he's from a movie? That's... <laughs> Somebody, you thought Naboo was somebody real? Somebody tweeted. And he's also not from Naboo. Someone Nib tweeted, uh, how the Naboo, fuck did this dude. guy get laid? And they said Palpatine. <laughs> oh, that sounds like a real name. <laughs> I don't think he gets laid once in the movie. I think I think Ray is his daughter. So he had, yeah, that's what the, he has a granddaughter. Yeah. Do you, <laughs> you thought he was real? <laughs> he's ugly as hell. <laughs> Where did you think Naboo was? He has a granddaughter. You know everything about geography. Where did you think Naboo was? Uh, Morocco? I, no, I don't know. I don't know. I also know is he has a granddaughter, which means that he has had sex. Ray is his granddaughter. Yeah, that's right. Am I, am I wrong? No, no, you're correct. Let me look this no, up. No, he has had sex. Yeah, yeah. Sheev Palpatine. <laughs> okay, in the series, we briefly see Bray's parents, Ray's parents, but we don't learn their name or anything about them. It is implied that she, Palpatine, fucked and <laughs> fathered a child who then had a child of his or her own. Yes, he so did yeah, fuck. How the fuck did he get laid? Award winner, Sheev Palpatine. <laughs> congrats, congrats to Sheev. Congrats to Sheev, big Sheev. Um, I'll go next yeah. if you'd like. Let's go... Uh, the next award is called uh, As Far As I Can Throw Them Award. And that is uh, for people I don't trust around my girl because they'll fuck any okay, means yeah. possible. Absolutely. The nominees are Kristen Stewart, whose turn, she's, she's, she looks like she should be, should be on the Icelandic gay, mm -hmm. Iceland gay oh, website. Yeah. She's gotten real, oh, real, shit. yeah. Yeah, she would. Yeah, she would have her way with any of our women. Uh, Chester Cheetah. Mm-hmm. Chester Cheetah is a nominee. Good fucking he's in, like, lord. He's fucking in South Padre right now. I think he's raped. <laughs> he has raped. Oh, yes. Yeah. Yeah. I think that's, well, yeah. Yeah. I think he only uh, goes to islands now. 
<laughs> when Trump was like being accused of stuff and people yeah. were calling him the orange rapist, I, I assumed it was just it was look at him. Look, yeah. yeah. Yes, he's taken. <laughs> he's he has uh, earned for sure, but some not not so much. Uh, next, the of course the Pokemon Buzzwole, always uh, including Buzzwole. Let me see him. Hell no! Nah. I uh, fucking I get it. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. Mm -hmm. Go go to that bottom right one, Mook. Far bottom right. No, no. That oh, which one is that? That's that's just a that's a shiny mega Buzzwole. <laughs> I think that's just a. Does Buzzwole have stingers? Is that what those are? What are those appendages? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's right. But the winner, because I think he would lay low, is a man who won Earth's most typical person. Everything about him would be the most common, the most populated city, the most common height, the most common eyes, the most common hair. Mu Li, M U L I. <laughs> From Shanghai. Uh, Earth, search, no, two different words. First name Mu, last name Li, and then search Earth's most, Earth's most typical. There he is, top left. <laughs> nope, nope, top. Yeah, that's him Which on the one? right. <laughs> that's a real he's dude. So, he's too typical. He's got to be hiding something. Is that a real person? That's a real person. He was, no, he, that's a real person. He won Earth's most typical. <laughs> Fucking Moo Lee. Congratulations. You are, you have won yeah. the As and Far would, As I yeah. Can Throw Him Award. Yeah, he's hiding something. Yep. Dude. Everything else is just too baseline. What's <laughs> he hiding? And I want to get him on the pod. Yeah. He could blend in anywhere, too. I don't like it one bit. No. Look at him. Imagine winning that. That's, I mean, he deserves it, too. I know, like, we're not accustomed to Chinese people around us, but I, he still looks typical to me. <laughs> yeah. No, I wouldn't, I wouldn't turn my head at him at all. No. CNN wrote He article. could be in bed with my woman, and I wouldn't <laughs> oh, know. Oh, yeah, yeah. And he deserves the award. He deserves the award. What's up? What's up, Mook? Discover the most common face on Earth. Yep. Congrats, Moo Lee. Oh. The odds, the odds are if you're a person, you're him. <laughs> <laughs> if you're a guy, you're Moo him. Yeah. 28 year old Han Chinese male is the most common person. We all have a little bit of Moo Lee in us then. I think so. Yeah, Rudy, I see. If you're too. average at something, just that's that's your mo your little that's, Moo Lee. That's yeah. my Moo Lee. We'll see, we'll I could see that catching on. Yeah. And also, I think he'd be just such a catch, right, as a husband. Uh huh. You wouldn't have yeah, to worry just, about him. He, may, he makes coffee every morning, but it's like, just he's not, right. That's that, ain't, that ain't no, him. no, 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 no. He makes coffee every morning, but not that good. No, it's just he does it. He, he has a Mr. Coffee up, Drip, but it's he, not that the good. face of seven billion. <laughs> Oh, yeah, poor what, guy. What, no, he's a, he's, a, he's a, a feeling of comfort and familiarity. I think he lives in Queens now. I, I think he could, pull, he could pull like crazy. He yes. lives in New York? Yes. Oh, yeah, That's what time. women want. I think comfort. he lives in New York. Yep. 28-year-old Chinese man. Christian holds a service job and lives in an urban environment. And they found him right-handed male. Mu Li. Mu Li. Do they measure his penis? I don't know. <laughs> if I have a bigger dick than m the world, oh my god! <laughs> measure his penis. <laughs> measure Mooley's penis. That would suck if he, they were like, oh my god, he meets every standard. And he pulls out just a hog. Yeah. <laughs> and I'm like, next. <laughs> I need him to go on a TED talk. Like, I want to know how he capitalized. It would be so this. boring, right? Yeah, it would be. It would be fine. It yeah. would be fine, exactly. Yeah. yeah, it would. It wouldn't. It wouldn't mm -hmm. set any records, but it would just be good enough. Um, the next one is a is a legacy award okay. named after somebody. Yeah, Kyle, you'll probably know this. It's the Will Chamberlain Memorial Trickle Down Award. Mm. Yeah, obviously yes. we know Will Chamberlain, the uh -huh. brother of Wilt. Mm -hmm. Will Chamberlain <laughs> notably had sex with how many win women? Uh, I think in the thousands. In the thousands, you know, Will would get trickled down, right? Yeah, and he, Will was a basketball player himself, if I remember correctly. Yes. Will Chamberlain. Mm -hmm. Yeah, if your blood, if your kin is fucking thousands, then you, by, just by mathematical purposes, have fucked hundreds, if not close to a thousand yourself. S certainly. So the yeah. rightfully named award. Uh, but we have some newcomers in the bunch. Uh, we, Of course, the Olsen twins brother, Trent. Trent Olsen, known for his askew flat brim hat. I don't know Trent. 
<laughs> they have a brother? Yeah. <laughs> Trent Olson, of course. Oh, my God. From Sherman Oaks. Can we go to some more photos of him? I don't care about his credits. Yeah. That's a, is that the only photo? Unibrowed man, or at least close to. I've never heard of him. He and he definitely he does gets... a lot of eyebrow raise photos. You know how the yeah. guys do that. Yeah, mm -hmm. I think he was probably one of those guys that were obsessed with mustaches. But uh, we also have Charlie Puth's brother, Stephen Puth. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Who is this? Stephen Puth. Steve Puth. Stevie Puth. <laughs> <laughs> that's just the top image. why is that his top picture cut out of his face yeah oh, cut yeah. out of his face oh he wait you could buy a stephen pooth celebrity mask <laughs> yeah he's yeah. getting trickled that's down getting, yeah, yeah. he's getting trickled down he's getting a lot time. And, and also yeah the the trent olsen is as well how much is it it's five what five yeah pounds. it's five pounds for a, a stephen five Puth pound mask a smile version of his mask <laughs> why do why is there a stephen pooth mask <laughs> what is stephen pooth Go, wait scroll up there's like he, assure you of authenticity. This is a website that sells like Snoop Dogg and Arnold Schwarzenegger masks and also Stephen Puth. David Arculetta cut out. <laughs> well, that makes sense. Yeah, yeah. Uh, snag a snag a Stephen Puth mask. Yeah, right. Go might... down, go down. These are all full bodies and then go down, full bodies, full body. Then Puth's head. <laughs> Just Puth's head. <laughs> Steve Puth's head. Ed Westwick mask. His head is what an angle. Oh, there's oh, oh. Uh, Erling Holland. Serious, serious. <laughs> yeah, yeah snag a Steve Puth smile. Hasbula casual. Um, next we have a uh, Thomas Lincoln, Abe Lincoln's younger brother. <laughs> Had no idea. Died at three days old, mm. <laughs> but his potential, <laughs> his potential would have been insane. I don't oh, know. Wait, maybe that's his potential. father. <laughs> three days. Days. <laughs> But yeah, imagine being Abraham Lincoln's brother. Yep. And then finally, I think we have our winner, George without the E. <laughs> it's not that's Ratzinger without what E? The last. You need e. at least one of these. <laughs> R A T Z. <laughs> and this is based solely off of his profile picture. Now go to his go to his Wikipedia. Go to his Wikipedia. That is the Pope Benedict's younger brother. No. Oh. <laughs> He, oh, he looks devious. He abused 200 boys. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> but look at that fucking oh picture. Oh, my God. The Pope's younger brother He's of trickle-down boy he pussy. Know, he knows. <laughs> trickle-down boy pussy from the Pope. He's no, He knows what's eternally on his horizon <laughs> if he wants it. Yes. <laughs> he look is. at he, that photo. He is so comfortable with his, like, uh, incoming mortality because he knows that it will be filled with what would be heaven to him the cool older brother of the pope oh yeah get that also loves boys that's <laughs> you're born into he the, is in para he's in <laughs> constant persistent heaven yeah and he died of old age of natural causes oh he's dead oh yes uh. <laughs> oh, there yeah i think i think over 200 sadistic punishments Oh, he actually Connect, is acute? With sexual oh, lust. The Over Pope's 200 brother? young singers. Yeah. 200? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> go up to his picture. Are you not believe? Scroll back up to his I know, picture. I'm 450. Uh, wait, go. Look at that. Look, wait, read the last line. Wait, which one? 547 boys. <laughs> oh, 500. Holy shit. With a high degree of plausibility. Where did he have his, like, what did he have, like, a, a condo? Look at <laughs> He, in, he wasn't in Vatican City, was he? Oh, I think he was. Yeah, he probably oh, was. The older brother? Bavaria died in Bavaria. Yes. Look at him. One more time. Let's look at him. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Congratulations to George without the second E. You win the Will Chamberlain wow. Trickle Down Pussy Award. <laughs> Kyle, who you got? Kyle, can I talk about the perfect gene? And I'm not talking Wilder, at his as his as his role in Charlie and the Chocolate Factory. But I am trying to get Wilder, partying, but my you're, pants nah, are always just ripping. A hack, man, <laughs> uh, guys, are you tired of your classic rough and rigid jeans crushing uh -huh. your nuts? Uh, I am. Yeah, 
Um, I think it's a very, that's why I wear sweatpants, but not anymore. Um, are you wearing oversized jeans, Rudy, that make you a laughing stock at your <laughs> office or the bar? <laughs> it says parentheses, Rudy. Yeah. yeah, it does. Well, today sponsored, the perfect jean finally solved all of your denim difficulties. They make great looking, perfect fitting jeans that are as comfortable as sweatpants. They uh, also made the perfect tee. Which is oh, a, they do tease too. Yeah, it's just enough to hide that beer belly these dirt while bags accentuating your too. arms and chest. <laughs> is everybody a dirt bag? Is that your like? Is that your? Th I like like a friendly. Yeah, yeah. Uh, it's soft as butter. Pair it with the perfect jean. They both always have free shipping, exchanges, and returns. You know, peace of mind oh, knowing and that your the order perfect is completely tea has just enough stretch to hide that beer belly while yeah, accentuating nice. your arms and chest. Um, that's the T. Yeah, it'll find yeah. it'll hide your big titties and fucking oblong nipples. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. It's finally time to stop crushing your balls in uncomfortable jeans. No, Kyle, you didn't say it passionate enough. Get to the people. It's finally time. <laughs> it's finally time to stop crushing your balls yeah. in uncomfortable jeans um, by going to the perfect gene.nyc. Now, yeah, that's where you go to prevent that. That's right. Our listeners get 15% off your first order, plus free shipping, free returns, free exchanges. When you use code ANUS15 at checkout, that's 15% off for new customers. The perfect gene dot NYC with promo code ANUS15. After your purchase, they'll ask you where you heard about them. Please support yeah. our show and tell them we sent you. Fuck your khakis and get the perfect gene. Okay. Next category is... Um, Arthur's Ass Courage Award. Um, this will be retroactive. And it goes to the second husband of Golden Girls star and gay icon of yesteryear, B. Arthur. Oh, okay. It does it. The second husband. The second so, husband of B. Arthur. So B. Arthur's first husband was screenwriter Robert Allen Arthur. They were only married for three years before divorcing. B. Arthur subsequently decided to keep her ex-husband's last name despite marrying another man, and she kept that name for the entirety of their 28-year marriage. And that man is Gene Sachs. <laughs> she didn't want to be no B. Sachs. Which translates to blue balls. Yeah, she didn't want to be B. Sachs. <laughs> um... Gene Sachs, <laughs> the second husband of B. She, Arthur. She didn't want to be <laughs> B. Sachs. Yeah. And the courage comes from the fact that he was married to a woman with her ex-husband's last name, uh -huh. which that would be tough to face her every day. Of course. That's mm -hmm. B. Arthur. It's her ex's last name. And the fact that there are a lot of allegations that B. Arthur is a lesbian. Oh, um, sh these two have two kids together, but via ad adoption. Wow. Mm. So he may not have even got to have sex with her. Gene Sachs. He wins? He wins. Yeah. <laughs> he may have never had sex. <laughs> I guess he, this wins. The, he married a lesbian with a last name of, all in the name of pussy. Yeah. Hence the courage. Hence the yeah. courage. Yes. You know yeah. what? Rightful award. Right. Mm -hmm. a yeah. Congratulations yeah. to Gene Sachs. Gene Sachs. Is he's dead as well? He is. All right. Um, you want me to go? Yeah. Uh, the next award is for nearest pussy. This is for uh, guys that are much shorter than their women, and they are the closest to the pussy. Uh, the nominees are Benji Madden, the good Charlotte singer and guitarist. Oh, shit. Uh, standing at 5'6", with Cameron Diaz. Wow. Oh. Uh-huh. How tall is she, though? I'd say about 5'9", five, 5'10". But look at them wow. together. He's significantly shorter. Look at that. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh. <laughs> oh yeah. And he looks short. Mm -hmm. oh, man. Mm -hmm. Next up, we have fan favorite Zacchaeus at five feet, the tax collector that climbed the tree All to see right. Jesus Christ. Uh, and he's married to Elizabeth, who stands at 5'5". Five five. Really? Yes. And he had the, I believe he brought Jesus back to his home. He did? Tall, strapping, yeah. six foot one Jesus. Which is up for debate. What? That's, yeah. Yeah, look at those little hands. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, my God. oh, poor Zacchaeus. Tiny we scurried balls. up that tree just to see Christ. And next, we have Vern Troyer, who's the height of uh, Papa John's medium pizza <laughs> at 18 inches. 
<laughs> Wait, this is oh, this is good because I know he's gotten pussy. Uh, yeah, he has a son, and uh, what? Brittany Powell, who is five eight. Not- oh my god, <laughs> his baby's mother is five foot eight. They dated. She, he already had a son. Uh, they didn't have a child. She divorced a man and got with Vern Troyer. What do you think's on their sex playlist? The Shins. <laughs> Rest in peace to Vern. Oh fuck! Me and Vern are both I'm are both shorter than his baby mother. (laughs) We're in the same category. Oh, she's holding. He had to give her literal head, right? (laughs) (laughs) Uh, Easily. On the knee. Oh, wait! Is that Vern's son? Not a chance. I, I think oh. that's Kristaps Porzingis. Yeah, <laughs> I think that is. Kristaps <laughs> Porzingis. <laughs> What's that? That can't be Vern Troyer's son. Maybe we can mail him the award. Vern settled down with Brittany. Oh, and her son. Not his that's, son. Uh, Imagine. <laughs> oh, I got a new boyfriend. <laughs> You have to meet him. <laughs> He's busy. He works in Hollywood. Yeah, that is an that is an insane image of of extremes and averages. We're gonna have to go out to dinner sometime. <laughs> Get up. All right. So maybe he didn't have a son. I, yeah, I can't. I don't think he could reproduce. No. But I remember he was on like Howard Stern, like he did like challenges where he had sex with like models. Chat so, model. So he has a PG. How was the top Google shirt search? How did Vern Troyer die? <laughs> Come on. <laughs> Good luck. All right, and then uh, <clears throat> final nominee, J.R.R. Tolkien. Mm. Five five, manlet. What? Wow. But he invented the Elven race. Uh-huh. And the shortest elven woman, beautiful, six feet tall. And he was obviously lusting after them, creating them. He made them perfect. He made them perfect. Mm-hmm. Oh, that makes so much sense why he he created this world, this fantasy world, where he would be taller than the norm. Yeah, he created hobbits. Mm-hmm. But yes, J.R. Tolkien, but the award has to go to Vern Troyer. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. Yep. Who is... But... I don't know because he's so, still pretty far from the pussy, but the oh, other direction. This is nearest pussy. This is nearest pussy award. Oh. Oh. JRR, come collect your award. Congratulations. JRR. Yes. JRR. Another award for the highly decorated author. That's right. Somebody add that to his Wikipedia, please. <laughs> <laughs> um, Kyle, do you want to go ahead? Yep. And speaking of authors, this next award is uh, the BAFTA Award. Mm. The black author fucking Tatiana Ali. (laughs) And this year's winner is actually Fresh Prince of Bel-Air star Tatiana Ali's husband. Wow. Uh (laughs) And you won't believe his name. I can't believe she didn't take his last name. (laughs) Dr. Vaughn Raspberry. Uh, Dr. Raspberry got his PhD in English language and literature from Howard. <laughs> Coincidentally. Um, uh, Does he have a soul pet? Yes, he has a soul pet. Author be- so in 2016, no. he published his first book, Race in the Totalitarian Century, uh, Geopolitics and the Black Literary Imagination. He published that while also having the time to conceive a child via heterosexual raw protectionless sex to utter completion with Tatiana Ali. Wow. So, yeah. Congrats to Tatiana, Mr. Raspberry. Tatiana has, has the name of the top combat athlete of all time <laughs> and chose to not take Raspberry. <laughs> Do- Dr. Raspberry without a P. Or <laughs> Dude, saying paging Dr. Raspberry before you exhale on your girl's stomach. Yeah. Uh-oh, Dr. Raspberry's here to check on you. Do- Dr. Raspberry. Yeah. Yeah. What a pool. Dr. Raspberry. Dr. Raspberry. Congrats on your BAFTA, Dr. Raspberry. Raspberry yeah. Um I can go. I have a uh, I have one more here. Next award is the Candle in the Wind Award. It's uh 
somebody who would have gotten a ton of pussy mm-hmm. uh, if their careers weren't cut short. Mm-hmm. Right. All right. So first up is the male praying mantis. Fox wants gets their head ripped off and eaten by the female mm-hmm. for sustenance oh, to raise so their want- child. Wow. Right after fucking, they rip off the head and eat it. Next is uh, No David from the book No David, the children's book. He was an absolute menace. You know he would have been a frat star crushing pussy. Let me see this guy. But no books about him <laughs> this aging. Dude. Oh, my God. No David mm-hmm. <laughs> would have absolutely collected pussy. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I can already see him in a Toronto Raptors jersey. Yeah. The I don't vertical know, white. I don't know if I'm seeing it. No. This, ba- this baby. <laughs> <laughs> no. Come on. I'm saying he would have been such a pass, a sex pest. David gets in trouble. Oh, oh my god! Yeah, Look okay. at him. Yeah. Oh, I'm I see sorry. It now. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I didn't know you guys were friends. Yeah. And then finally, uh, big boy from the big boy restaurants. Oh that. Oh yeah. The big statue. Yeah. First of all, he's wearing just a shirt that says "Big Boy." Imagine oh wearing that God. out. Oh, yeah. <laughs> the fucking checkered yes. that you see at a lot of tailgates. He's blushing. He's 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 sneaky. And he would have absolutely decimated pussy. Mm-hmm. I might get a shirt that says big boy. <laughs> <'Cause where? laughs> Look at him. Oh my God. Oh yeah. Oh my fucking God. Oh my God. It's a shame that there are. Maybe no big boy restaurants left. Obsolete. His eye line is almost always perfectly at cleavage height. Oh yeah, he's a flirt. Look at him, just fucking ha- <laughs> big ass burger, big ass boy, and like those are the, those dudes that wear those like checkered overalls at tailgates, sur- oh, surrounded those by a gaggle of women. Always, mm-hmm. yeah. It's a, there's a level of confidence. Imagine pairing that with a shirt that just says "big boy." Oof. Right. He definitely like sent Snapchats of the Morton Salt girl sucking his dick and then like <laughs> had to delete his Snapchat and ended up getting out of jail because his dad is like a high powered lawyer. <laughs> um, yeah, he's a pussy getter. He's a pussy getter. And uh, that's why he's winning the Candle in the Wind Award. Congratulations, Congratulations to Big Boy. Congratulations, Big Boy. What do you got? What do I got? The next award. Kyle. I think, Pat- mean, I think you mean Alan. <laughs> Alan. Alan. Archangelo. Alan Archangelo. Uh, no. Sylvester sidecar, but go on. <laughs> Sylvester. <laughs> yes. Pass the sticks. You've been hogging them all day, pussy. Okay. <laughs> Why? <laughs> because you've been playing 2K all day. Well, I- WWE 2K24. To get your own controller. <laughs> Why are you- what are you doing? Is that Sylvester Sidecar's character? Are you like sad? Uh, all right. WWE 2K24 <laughs> is out this week. Uh, finish your story. Wait, no, it's finish your story. It's like Cody Rhodes, dude. Yeah. Finish your story. New match types. Guest referee, casket, gauntlet. Yeah, we played matches. this. It's awesome. It was a blast. It really um, was. Gripping retelling of WrestleMania's greatest moments and 2K showcase of the Immortals where you can relive a collection of some of the most unforgettable career-defining moments. Pick up or download WWE 2K24 today. WWE 2K24, finish your story. Yeah, you don't even have to be into WWE to even enjoy this game. No, it's just clobbering. Like, it's the, fighting. The customization like options will scratch any creative or RT desire that you have, I yeah. swear. That's that. Download WWE 2K. Mm-hmm. Oh man. Uh the fishiest pussy getter. Ah. Okay. Mm. Um nominee is uh first nominee is Lance Bass. Um <laughs> he was on Watch What Happens Live with Andy Cohen. And he claimed to be a member of the Mile High Club via sex with a woman on a Boeing business jet when he was touring with InSync. He claimed he did it just because there was a bed on the private jet. Um, I think that just sounds fishy. Yes. Coming from Bass. <laughs> fishy coming from Bass, right. of course. And the next nominee is, um, we've talked about him. Before. How awful would it feel if like there was an article about you joining the Mile High Club and then colon with a woman? <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> 
<laughs> Colon with a woman. Yeah, I don't. I don't ellipses. know if I believe it. Um, no, I believe he may be like made out with her. Yeah, um, very fishy. The second video is from 2012. Lance Bass. I've made out with Andy Cohen. Well, Lance Bass, openly gay husband. Oh, fully. Yes. Oh, oh yeah. One of my favorite. <laughs> yeah, I have. Very. I have the magazine the cover. It's my favorite magazine. Search Lance Bass uh, Time magazine. I have. <laughs> I love. Uh, you don't need the word mile. That's all I know. There, I have that People magazine because it's my it's my favorite headline <laughs> ever. <okay. laughs> I bought so that good. People magazine, and I have uh, the Ellen DeGeneres magazine cover as well. That was like, and I think her says, "Yup, I'm gay." <laughs> <laughs> it does, it does. <laughs> Those are sick. Yeah, I have them both. I just don't have them oh hanging up anywhere. You got to get them graded. By yeah, I thing. should get them graded. Yeah. Yeah, yep, I'm, I'm, yeah. gay. Yep, I'm gay. <laughs> <laughs> I need the mid 10 L time. <laughs> yeah, so if anybody else has more gay covers that I can look at. Oh, I hope that this like starts a trend where the next big reveal will be like, I guess I'm gay. Yep. Yeah, what yeah. do you go next? Yeah. Just I would if I did it hypothetically, uh, I think I just went gay, but like with a Miss Mythbusters stamp. Like yeah. <laughs> gay. Yeah. <laughs> Mine would just say sure. Yeah. We've been knowing. Yeah. We've been. <laughs> Y'all knew. Yeah. yeah. I guess <laughs> I'm gay. <laughs> Y'all been knowing. Y'all been knowing. Yeah. Kyle, yours could just be like your face with no words. It could be real artsy. And then that's that's I think just your face. No, uh, words. I, don't know. I don't really get that. No. <laughs> what does that mean? No, like your hot guy face. And then but what? On the inside, it would be like a, the reveal. Mm -hmm. like it would be like real artsy. Oh, yeah, like yeah. the Rolling Stone Boston yeah. Bomber. Yeah, you and a wife beater. What was? The, can we see the Rolling Stone Boston Bomber cover? They like made him look so hot. There's another really good cover. The Bomber. Oh my god. Yeah, with yeah. like his sexiest I think pick. they added like a filter to it. They had to have. Yeah, I think they, yeah. Fuck Rolling Stone. Yeah. That's crazy. Uh-huh. That's insane. But anyway, I'm sorry. Okay. Oh, the next, there's only one other nominee, and it's, of course, 44-year-old American film producer Jensen Karp, oh. who is married to and thus fucking the pussy of Boy Meets World star Danielle Fischel. Um, Karp is best known for alleging to find a shrimp <laughs> in his cinnamon toast crunch. I remember that. Yeah. And so, then he abruptly got canceled right after, right? Right. So Jensen Karp, who's been known for a shrimp incident, is having vagina sex with Danielle Fischel. He is <laughs> the fishiest pussy getter. Mm -hmm. Is he and one of fishiest course, pussy getter? That is Topanga, who was the heartthrob of the '90s and 2000s. Um, Still looks great. So yeah, Topanga. Who would have guessed? Topanga is now fucking that that shrimp guy, Karp. <laughs> Is she is pussy together. Uh, did the shrimp thing end up being real? I think General Mills came out and said that was just like, like sugar. Oh, or like that part of sense. the cereal. That looks like shrimp, dude. Yeah, that's shrimp. <laughs> that's fully shrimp. Yeah, that's the way. Uh, yeah, that's shrimp. Get away with it. It's that's a thick ass wedding ring. Good God. Mm -hmm. And they have two kids together. <clears throat> Do they have uh, aquatic theme names? Uh, <laughs> I think Actually, throw Seal in the mix. Seal married to Heidi Klum, mm. divorced now. Mm. Heidi Klum with a very gay German man now. Really? Yeah, I think from he was from a band. <laughs> Heidi Klum is with a gay guy? Yeah. Has a, has a big breasted daughter now? Tom Collitz. Yeah, but look at him younger. He was in the, this is a German band that I love just looking at. What's it? Simple English. Look up the band Simple English. And one of the members, that one with the hair. <laughs> that's him? I believe so. That's it. What do you mean that's him? That's him. I believe he's married to Heidi Klum. Oh, Tokyo Hotel, I guess, then, is the name of the band. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. Congrats to uh, Jensen Karp. Karp. Mm -hmm. um, this isn't an award, or it could be. I do have the next Pete Davidson. Oh, skinny build. Girls are going to start to realize. Oh, wow. And that is the Dave Matthews band logo. The fire dancer. I this think is a, this is a uh, 
A sentient person or a logo? The logo. Oh, just the. Oh my. Yeah, God. chicks yeah. are going to start loving that next. Yeah. <laughs> just a real girls love like a feminine guy, skinny build, uh -huh. dance proud. Uh, that's the next ominous, Pete Davidson. Slightly ominous. Yeah. Yeah. And he, how long has he been around? A long time. Oh, he's probably he's done some things. We you think don't so? Know about yeah. We should <laughs> got canceled. The fire dancer got canceled. I yeah. see it. I just wanted to use the Dave Matthews logo. That's a, the biggest red flag if you see that on a back of a car. I never noticed. I used to have one. What's like a Dave Matthews? What's like a typical fan? Uh, cargo short guy. Yeah. Uh, calf tattoo. Yeah. Um, works but has like a steady job. Business. Uh, sometimes, degree. yeah. Okay, so boring. Yeah. Yes. Intram really, really loves television. Uh, really, uh, yeah. very active in intramural sports. Okay. Vo volleyball at the park. Mm -hmm. The cooler guy. If Asia didn't yeah. exist, the Dave Matthews man would be the most typical guy. Yes. Got it. Got it. Yes. That guy. Yeah. If only, man. <laughs> if only Asia didn't fucking exist. <laughs> yeah. The kind of guy that like researches iPhone cases before he buys. Dave them. Matthews band would be so popular if Asia disappeared. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, do you have any other awards, Kyle? Yeah, we'll speed through them. Sure. Um, Me and Rudy have a couple honorable oh, okay. yeah, uh, mentions yeah. as well. Mm -hmm. We'll go real fast. Uh, Dwightest pussy. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah um is <laughs> and the winner of Dwightest pussy goes to african-american former chico state five foot eleven basketball player christine vest so dwight howard has five children with five different women um it was hard to pick the winner out of those five who had the the Dwightest pussy out of those five. Sure, yeah. They all had similar runs with length, uh, duration of dating him. Um, only had one kid with him, but um, Miss Vest um, conceived uh, Dwight Howard III. So there was extra Dwight. Extra Dwight. Yeah, wow. there. So Dwight is pussy. Goes to black basketball player Christine Vest. <laughs> she went Dwight is pussy. Mm -hmm. That's crazy that his eighth child got his name. I know. Well, he has eight. That was his eighth oh. baby mama. Oh, he has five baby mama. Oh, wow. and that's that's of course Taiwanese basketball star and bisexual icon Dwight Howard. Yes, <laughs> <laughs> bisexual king, mm -hmm. or maybe fully gay. Is he openly bi, or is it just? Like... Uh, I think. I don't think he's. Ever... I think he's <laughs> implying that he is by not fighting it too hard, or maybe he does get mad. Some people just have a face that's a little gay. Uh huh. That could you could see it. I mean, he might he might just be gay for like logistics reasons. He's so fu like so fucking big. Yeah, it's easier to just fuck men. Right. <laughs> logistics, dude. I'm straight, but I'm so fucking big. I gotta fuck guys. Yeah, yeah. and I don't blame him. <laughs> fuck. Hopefully that doesn't happen to big boy. Yeah. Oh no, it would never happen to big boy. Never. It would never happen to big boy. Mm. Um, uh, the Jimmy V Award. Oh, oh my goodness! <laughs> this goes to the anonymous, now former male high school student from Tazewell County in Illinois, who was having repetitive sex with his 23-year-old gym teacher. <laughs> I won't say her name. No, I mean, she's a name. pedophile. Miss Renault, who also served as the school's girls' basketball coach and volleyball coach. Oh, so wait, is Jimmy spelled G-Y-M-M-Y? Yeah, she has uh, little, okay, between Jimmy Between school practices and games, she probably had the, the most Jimmy V in the world. <laughs> she probably spent more time in the gym, volleyball, basketball, P.E. class, than anyone in the world. Yeah, she had the Jimmiest yeah, V. Right. Mm. Wow. Congrats to... She won? We get, we're giving this to a... No, this is the a boy. molester. Oh, okay. Well, this is yeah. This might be a gray area. I'm assuming there was like not assault, and he was fine with it. If not, um, 
a word redacted. Yeah, okay, good yeah. to know. Good to know that we have the moral high ground on the <laughs> PG 13s. Mm -hmm. um, is that your last one? Yes. Wait, no that that was a that mean uh, that was not right. Uh, yeah. Um, the Oscar for best pastor. No. Uh, <laughs> what? The Oscar for, for best, best pastorius. pastorius. Yeah, yeah it's <laughs> Joseph Pastorius, a campus minister in Louisiana. He won best pastorius. Appear. Don't look him up. He. I just found his Facebook. Oh God. <laughs> um, but he has a picture, a profile picture with five very young children. So. <laughs> Um, he, yeah, he was. He's been active. <laughs> oh my! Of God. course, Oscar was suspended. Carl, his brother, has his own homicide case. Wait, Oscar Pistorius' brother killed Carl, somebody? Yeah, manslaughter, vehicular manslaughter. I think. Jesus, what's well, a cursed last name? And Johann Pistorius. What is uh, Johann? Of done? course, he was a 16th century German theologist and priest. So, Neri a pussy. The winner is Joseph. Still a priest though. Oh wow. I don't know, man. You think he should win? I like the... No, he shouldn't. No, he... look at his shoulders. That's a bad name to inherit. Uh... Damn, curse last name. Curse last name. What are you guys' uh, runner-ups that you guys have, or, or your nominees? Um, I had a, a couple. We can call these like the honorable mentions. Uh, the one uh, I would like to acknowledge is Adaptation of a Foreign Pussy. Oh, okay. That's a great award. <laughs> mm -hmm. Adaptation of a Foreign Pussy. There's a lot of people here that could get this award. But uh, first of all, I would like to say this is either going to be Kanye West, uh, Josh Richards, Bryce Hall, and Jeff Bezos. Uh, they also are in the running. Because okay, I know why Con Kanye has the Brazilian. They all have Brazilians, oh, I believe. Same yeah. with no, they Richards do not. and Hall are collecting Latinos. Yeah, so no, uh, they, Kanye does not. Josh Richards, Bryce Hall, and Jeff Bezos are all with fat ass Latinas. Oh, okay. Kanye does not. Kanye, who is the winner of this award, yes, his wife Bianca Sensori is Australian. I have no idea. And the reason why he gets this award is because he is dressing her up like a marionette doll. Oh, yeah. He's putting her in very strange garb. So he truly embodies the image of She's like wearing like see-through shit, too. He the is, images of when she was dating him before she dated him and after is insane. Yes. Now, so, yeah, that's just a throw pillow. He truly is <laughs> adapting a Yeah, pussy. that's a great award. Mm -hmm. Is she just clutching a pillow and naked? Yeah. Yes. Um, and he, she was like giving him head on like a catamaran. Yeah. Yes. And his butt cheeks were on bare wood. <laughs> He's got her dressed like fucking buff she, Bagwell. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so congratulations to Kanye West. An award I think that he would be proud of. Oh, yeah. He would be mm -hmm. giddy. He, he would come accept it. Congrats mm -hmm. to Kanye. Mm -hmm. And then uh, the I other, didn't know Be Jeff Be Bezo Bezos was uh, with a he's with a fat ass Latina. Oh, yeah. oh. sorry. I <laughs> <sighs> mm -hmm. <laughs> He's with a fat ass Latin. So if you're bald, just become the richest man ever. <laughs> yeah. And then maybe. <laughs> maybe. He's also jacked as fuck now. Oh, yeah, I is. think he's to the point of wealth where he's trying to live forever. Yes. Adrenochrome. Wait, didn't he shit. steal his buddy's girl? Isn't that his buddy's girl? I th oh, yeah. Wasn't that? I don't remember, but I th that sounds correct. I think... She was in his orbit. So maybe we something. should give him the Tony Award, the, the Tony Parker Award. <laughs> mm. <laughs> I think he deserves that. Um, this next award is the Purple Pussy Award. Whoa, somebody oh. a pussy that was injured. This is pulverized by pussy. Oh, so huh. injured in the line of pussy. <laughs> um, Moo, can you look up uh, Finn Baylor? Oh, body, the wrestler. Body slam by Mission. M I C H I N. I'll send you it's video. on YouTube. Yeah, I'll send you this video. M I C H I N. Just no S, all right? Mook, I set you up for failure here. That's okay. But this this award is someone who stared pussy in the face and got clobbered. So wait, they did she flip him upside down? She did all that. And oh, wait, more. does he die? He no. does not die. No. You don't have to die to receive a purple heart, purple pussy. Pur purple. Okay. Yeah. Do you get a purple heart if you die? You do, but you don't have to die. But isn't there another thing for dying too? Um, I don't know. There's the silver. Stuff. There's the iron cross, maybe. Iron cross, yeah. I don't know. I just texted it to you, Mook. 
I would love to see this. But while Mook looks that up, the next award is the Giggle Puss Award. Oh. This award is for men who laugh their way into pussy or <laughs> are just ugly and must be funny. There's no other explanation. They can't have any other talent. Of course. The Giggle right. Puss Award goes to none other than Benny Blanco. Oh, wow. yeah. Dude, I, yeah. I know Great. he's dating Selena Gomez. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And, and I think he's be, like he's he knows he's getting insecure about it. Really? So Benny Blanco, renowned music producer. He's a great Every producer. hit song. He has a lot of, Worked a with lot of good Bieber, hits. Juice World, phenomenally talented. That doesn't mean dick in this scenario. The Giggle Puss Award. There's no way you get a girl like that. No, Selena, like especially Selena Gomez, one without of the most being, successful women on earth. Without being generationally funny. And also... And he got her at her bustiest. And she, you, yeah, she's ever growing. You want to talk about <laughs> a stunner? <Good> tell. <laughs> she is every clip. Um, You're not wrong. She, she's like one of those things you put in water that burgeoning. Grows. Yeah, <laughs> his ex girlfriend is insanely hot too. Benny's. I saw them showing up to like some event, and he's also tiny. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he's a little guy, and so negative carthal tilt as well. So this man is the Giggle Puss winner. Congrats to Benny. Well deserved, Benny. Mm -hmm. Exactly. I need you guys to see this body slam though. Did you get that video, Mook? It's it's a women little... overpowering men. WWE playlist. Rudy, how how did you find this? Uh, You're at the women oh overpowering men <laughs> playlist on it's a must watch. Okay, keep going, keep yeah. going, keep going. Is this is that fan? Oh. No, keep going. I think that might be it. No, or it might be the fan. first one. Sorry. No, this is your thing. Rousey, Triple H. Uh, there he is. Yeah. There it is. This is him. This is the Purple Pussy Pulverized by Pussy Award. Uh -oh. oh my God, he's cocky. Oh shit! Oh, look at his spine. Oh. Shattered. <laughs> yeah, I, thought, Where did the, I thought the pussy was gonna I hit his face. Gonna his face. Nope, nope. It's just pussy as in. Oh, she's look how destroyed he is. Yeah. <laughs> Believable. Believable. Yeah, he's definitely fucked up. <laughs> the, the Rudy was yeah, just watching we, the women yeah. overpowering men after a nurse shoved a medical swab into his urethra. <laughs> <laughs> Ma made him say uncle. <laughs> <laughs> Slammed it in there. Yeah. Made him wince. Now, if there, yeah, did you relate to these guys, Rudy? <laughs> oh, big time. Uh, there is all. If there were an women, inverse, made you feel pain before too, man. <laughs> if there was an inverse to this award, it would go to May Young. Who's May Young? May Young is a legendary wrestler. Oh yeah, yeah. Her? She got slammed. Who'd she get? Many times. Yeah, she would take bumps. She would take bumps. Who is that? Look at that fella. <laughs> Look at that shape. Yeah, I think he just wandered. There were a lot of dudes that shape back in the day. I know. They're always like girls basketball coaches. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, a lot of dudes were shaped like upside down light bulbs. Yeah, they. Had the, I remember like the biggest fupas. Yeah. Like tubes back in like, yeah, I don't know. Yeah, mm -hmm. like the... The their bottom what half that were semi body type. I don't they know. I think it literally. I don't yeah. know how they achieved that. It had to have been something that they remember at like Saint Vincent's function. Ton of guys. There were so many ton guys, of guys with just that the biggest inner tubes around their groin. I, I was I remember mesmerized as a as a little boy, like asking my parents, like, "What? How do they do that?" My right. next door neighbor. Some <laughs> my next door, but neighbor. I haven't seen it in a while. Mm -hmm. What happened to yeah. that body type? That they built like Saturn. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's just like a. It's kind of floating here. They all have like semi wonky nicknames. Yeah, like buzzer. Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 Buzzer. Lucky, yeah, lucky. Uh, my next door neighbor is called Chicky. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. 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 <laughs> oh my god. What happened to that body type? It's always like Chicky can eat. Oh yeah, Chicky's Chicky, yeah. big boy. Chicky, He's a healthy boy. Yeah. I think it got killed by CrossFit, if I had to guess. Like that whole. No, thing. I think it, because there's still fatzos. There's more fatzos. People are fatter, but that was like grossly disproportion disproportionate to the groin. You only area. gained yeah. weight below the belly button. I don't know how you achieve that. Yeah, and your calves were insane. Yeah, yeah. You're right. I don't know where that body went. I know the other, even earlier version is like the old muscle dudes. 
where the boxers that used to fight like this. Oh yeah, I don't know that. That body yeah. doesn't yeah. exist either. Yeah, the ones that like their pants are up to their sternum. What's yeah. barrel chested? Yeah. That's before. Jim Was equipment. barrel chested still a thing? Oh no. <laughs> Look at that chest. Yeah, <laughs> that guy. That dude. <laughs> oh my god. I'm a, you don't want to fuck with that guy. I wouldn't know how to pulverize those dudes. <laughs> Yeah, find us a. I never know what bar so it so protrudes out. Old timey strong men are hilarious. I might be barrel. Chubby. It was just fat. Yeah, I remember like as a as a kid, I was like super chubby, and instead of my parents calling me fat, they'd just be like, "You're big boned and barrel chested." Yeah, <laughs> it's like no, I just have tits, mom. Speaking <laughs> of weird chests, uh, story so far has a new song out, and the lead singer's chest. Has the biggest divot in it I've ever seen. Like right here? Yeah. I used to have one. No, not like this, dude. I don't know. Can you I, go to the, the... Yeah, you're fine. Yeah, oh, yeah. That Chubby used to be like the fattest man in the world back then. Uh-huh. Yeah, my college roommate had one of those divots. Not like this. I'm How bad was it? You could, uh, you could pour two ounces of tequila in it and it wouldn't... <laughs> It wouldn't go it out. It wouldn't flood. Wow. Yeah. Oh, man. Um, Mook, what are your honorable mentions for the PG-13s? Honorable mentions for the PG-13s. We're going to start with uh, the Kool-Aid Man Award. Okay. Mm -hmm. These are redheaded homewreckers. Oh, oh yeah, great yeah, award. Yes. Redheaded homewreckers. Oh, I know. I know who's at the top. We, yeah. know, who's yeah. at the, we know who's at the top. <laughs> honorable mention, the Kool-Aid Man himself. Number yeah. One. Uh number two, second runner up, or yeah, second runner up, Seth Green for his work in Entourage, getting in Sloan's head and E's oh, head. He did. That's mm -hmm. right. He did. Little redheaded menace. Wait, did he get Sloan? He I think he started a rumor that he was with Sloan before. That counts. And it led Kevin Connolly. In LA, that counts. Yeah. Yeah, it counts. Mm -hmm. And uh he got inside E's head, trying to home wreck a little bit. Uh runner up, Prince Harry. Mm -hmm. ruining yep. his royal family um megan mark for megan markle but he secured the pussy mm -hmm. secured and the she winner, divorced for him didn't she i believe so so maybe double home wreck i know the winner and it's it's mesmerizing every time i the think the winner about it. ethan slater oh Grande's of course. boyfriend yeah she's still with him yeah yep. oh, yeah she just had to pay her ex-husband like a couple mil yeah look at this guy that gives me hope. Oh, so, I like it. I know Ethan Slater took it home this year, but I hope to. Uh, oh my God! Yeah, you're hotter than him. <laughs> yeah. For the surest. Hey, hey, thank you, man. Ah, uh, oh yeah, you played like SpongeBob. Yeah, really SpongeBobby too. He's really, really. Sp he was born to play SpongeBob. <laughs> uh huh. Just, yeah. All right, Ethan Slater. Congrats to him. Congr big congrats to Ethan. Uh huh. I hope he's in love. And my second honorable mention, uh, this one's a little bit more TikTok-y. Okay. Uh, top prospects with cannons. Okay. Is the uh, category. I'd like your help to pick the winner. First uh, nominee, Paul Skeens for his rocket arm and Livy Dunn. And a Pittsburgh Pirate. And a Pirate. Yeah, so he is like the biggest star, new star in baseball. Technically, yes. He hasn't it's really played yet. Number one prospect. Number uh, one pick. LSU. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Got Libby Dunn. Paul Skeen. Paul Skeen. Uh, we have Jinxie. Oh, streamer. he rizzed up Brecky Hill. He rizzed yeah. up Libby Dunn with cannons, Brecky Hill. Okay. That's, mm -hmm. What is are that Are they mean? together? They're together. So wow. Jinxie and Brecky Hill are together. Brecky wow. Hill went viral for being, quote unquote, Libby Dunn with cannons, if you remember that. I, I, just, I don't know who Brecky Hill is. I just know the name. It doesn't sound like a real name. It's Livy, Livy and Brecky. Yeah. Yeah. So the internet cl uh, claim that she is just Livy Dunn with big tits, aka Livy Dunn with cannons. Okay. Mm -hmm. And then Nick Cannon obviously is a nominee. Mm -hmm. He's mm -hmm. building an organ farm for when lupus finally <laughs> takes its hold. Yes. Mm -hmm. Very obvious. People, mm -hmm. more people should be talking about that. Agreed. And the dark horse nominee for top prospects with cannons, Blackbeard the pirate. Yeah. Uh, used cannons to PNR and acquire pussy. Did you PNR as pill pillage and rape? Yep, pillage and oh. rape. Nobody puts it in that order. 
Nobody ever puts pillage first. So Blackbeard's the pioneer for top prospects. You're a good guy for putting pillage yeah, first. Yeah, pillage first? Yeah. yeah. Also pillage. famously had Let's get you a shirt that says pillage first. <laughs> <laughs> and then we uh, yeah, rape later. Uh, I'm here to pillage and rape, and I'm all out of pillage. pillage. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Uh, so yeah, Paul Skeens, Jigsy, Nick yeah. Cannon, and Blackbeard. I think it goes to... G- Jinxie. I yeah. thought he was. I thought he Jinxie. was like. Spe- <laughs> I didn't know he was in that in that field of of da- of dating and. Way to go, Jinxie! He's the most viral. Maybe I've only seen clips of him pretending to be special needs. Yeah, but still, what's his deal? Uh, he streams Rainbow Six Siege. Uh, he's currently the number one Twitch streamer. I know he's number one. Um, he's just very entertaining. He doesn't he's, really. Yeah. He's not like Sketch, where he plays up a disability. He like rolls uh, his R's though, doesn't he? But he does. He has a speech impediment. Actually, sure. oh, yes. Good for, for sure. him. Yeah, he rolls his words. Um, rolls his R's. There's no way that's real. I think it is, dude. This kid is just like born on Xbox. Okay. Like online. Like he's been streaming for like six years now, and he's only 22. Oh my oh, god. Wow. Yeah. And he got Brecky. Yeah. Give him the dub. Jinxie, congratulations. You win top prospect with cannons. Mm-hmm. Come collect the award. <laughs> Great job, guys. That's the uh, PG 13s. Can we see that, uh, the Pope's brother, one more time? <laughs> George without the E. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Oh my God! Yes, uh, that's How? a sati- that that man is satiated. How did I get so fucking lucky? <laughs> How is this my life? See the Joker? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> hey, do the do do do. <laughs> yeah, do Joker Pope brother. I don't know. I don't. Was that the Joker? Yeah, you were doing the Joker. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah. Mm. How do you, I don't know. That's the only accent I know. How do you think I fuck these children? <laughs> you want to know how I got these boys? <laughs> My brother was a bit of a pope. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, you had that in your bag. Time time. Yeah. <laughs> you lack imagination. Uh-huh. You want to play a game? Yeah. <laughs> This Vatican needs a new class of pedophile. Yeah. <laughs> Look what I achieved. And I'm going to give it to him. <laughs> <laughs> Here's the thing about little boys. They're cheap. <laughs> You can have Rachel. Uh, I'll take Brian. (laughs) (laughs) Trying to think. I haven't seen the Joker in so long. I mean, like just just going up to a boy and just like, you want to see a magic trick? (laughs) (laughs) Pope brother Joker pedophile is a really good character. Yep. Mm -hmm. (laughs) <laughs> really good, really good. Yeah, I don't know why it hasn't been done before. Yeah, no, it's so <laughs> obvious. <laughs> Anything else, KB? Uh, no. <laughs> it seems like you do. No, I'm looking at wrestling results. Anything good? A lot of upsets. Damn. I started uh, Shogun. Oh, oh, I've heard. Super good. Yeah, yeah, I think they're already not renewing it. Oh, well, then I'll stop. <laughs> What's the point then? What is it about? Uh, TJ described it's like kind of Game of Thrones. 16th century Japanese um, samurais. There's uh, English dudes washed up. Fuck yeah. Uh, about the, I don't know what's going to only watch the first episode. I'm going to give out. it a go. It's good. Uh, wait, so who has to tweet the bracket at Dr. Umar? Oh, I will. <laughs> <laughs> I don't, wanna, no, I don't I want tweet to tweet too either. much. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm just looking at fucking Joker quotes now and trying to make him Pope brother pedophile. Yeah, do you want me to bring up a monologue? 
I'm looking right now. Okay. Nah, I got nothing. <laughs> <You're> not, <laughs> wait, what's, there's a line where he says, like, you think you can steal from us and get away with it? It's like, you think you can just touch all these kids and get away with it? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> He looks at the boy. I need you. Yeah. <laughs> you complete me. <laughs> I don't want to kill, kill you. I want to no. fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> their morals, their code. Uh, it's uh, a bad joke. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> If you're good at something, never do it for free. <laughs> Yo. Oh, you can just say half these things. Yeah, you don't have to change them. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> God, these are... Some of these are horrible. Yeah, these are almost too, like, on the head. <laughs> That's not funny. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Don't test... Oh, God. About sending a message, <laughs> you know it only hurts. <laughs> Do you, I love your joke? Yeah, me too. <laughs> what is the joke? How, how does it sound? You know? Yeah, that's good. Yeah. It only hurts. <laughs> <laughs> Don't test the monster in me. It only hurts when I'm mad. <laughs> <laughs> Don't test the monster in me. <laughs> <laughs> Never start with the head. <laughs> <laughs> the victim gets all horny. <laughs> this is so fucking stupid. So stupid. Any uh, any weekend plans for the fellas? No, nah, dude. Uh, nah. I bought a bread maker. <laughs> so I'm going to try to make uh, some gluten-free ciabatta. What happened to you, dude? I miss bread. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah. Okay, yeah. That makes sense. Yeah. I thought you were just taking My dad makes bread. Project. Yeah. It's very good. I just, uh, gluten-free bread sucks, so I'm going to just take it into my own hands. Yeah, that is, you surely will make a better product than the professional. It is so bad, man. It is so bad. What is gluten free bread? I went yeah, down that path. I've had, I've had it. Yeah. When I did yeah. keto, I went down that path. Yeah. It blows. It tastes like paper towels. It really, really does. It, it's like uh it's like the bread is allergic to living. Like as soon as you bring it out of the packaging, it disintegrates. It's not a solid or liquid or gas or plasma. It's yeah. uh, it's, it's just not because well, it's, it's not bread. <laughs> right. Just like vegan cheese isn't cheese. Right. Yeah, it's a bad know. joke. What are you gonna it's like <laughs> <laughs> Gluten free Joker. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a dog chasing bear bread. <laughs> okay, I don't even want to dive into this. Me neither. <laughs> <laughs> Gluten free Joker will be. I'll, I'll make a musical. Yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm working on. A, I'm working on a musical right now. It's about <laughs> Joker gluten free. <laughs> Hollywood would actually eat that up. You think so? Big time. Big time. Inclusive, innovative. All right. Uh, anything else? Anything else? Mook, what, any, what are you up to? I need a weekend off. Yeah? yeah I'm, take uh, it. going to try not to drink this nice. weekend. Nice. Uh-huh. Mm -hmm. And I've been trying to do stand-up sober as well. Um, like trying or succeeding? Or? I, I've done it. I did it Tuesday, uh, Tuesday, and I did great. And then I did last week and I did like a packed room. It was like 350 people and I did it sober and I didn't get comfortable until about like three, four minutes in the room. Really? Yeah. Did your voice like tremble? I not tremble, but I was a little, it felt like I was doing stand up again and I was like new. Oh, wow. The nerves mm -hmm. were heightened. So for the late show, I had to host it. So I had a beer before that. Okay. Like, you know, when you host, you have to be a little peppy. I feel like it unlocks a little bit of muscle memory too. Like you're like, you probably get into your rhythm and yeah. Did you forget any jokes sober? No, I, you're more focused. Like I'm really better at, I'm better at crowd work sober. I'm better at trying to do jokes sober, but yeah, fuck it. Keep it going. Yeah. Um, I talked to Sass about it. He's like, it takes a, a couple I feel times. like if you have a joke that doesn't hit like you do, like you'd want to, though, you can brush it off better when you're drunk. 
Oh, for sure. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But how often do you do stand up a lot? Yeah. That's just not like a sustainable avenue to go down. It is. I mean, a lot of comics do it and then they die. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It, yeah. I mean, I know you're not abusing, but. Yeah. I just, I, I'd rather get it out of the way now and be like, I can do this sober if I want. Right. And you can. Yeah, I can. It's yeah. just something that I have to get comfortable with for sure. It's just like so natural to just be holding a beer up there too, I guess. Like, yeah. Yeah. Bringing a water on stage it was was definitely uh, different. Yeah. People probably thought you're kind of a pussy. Oh, for sure. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All right. All right. God bless. God bless.